Tunisia, April the 7th, 2024. That is Russ Cook, the hardest geezer, about to run his final marathon of his almost year-long journey from the bottom of Africa right to the very top. And that's me. I've never run a marathon before. A week earlier, to train for running in coastal North Africa, I'd run the cold, flat, wet half marathon from Bristol to Bath. Part of the reason I'm doing this run is training to go to Nizia and run with Russ Cook. The last 20 or so kilometers of his insane run from South Africa to Tunisia. He was part of the inspiration for my cycle across Europe, which I did in the summer. And he's only finishing his run now. Put into perspective how long he's been out here. A week later, I finished a shift at 9 pm, got on the train to London, flew to Tunis. Explored, met some lovely people, travelled around for a while, saw some ruins, and was persuaded over the course of days to run a whole marathon rather than a half. That brought me to here, sat in the boot of an Italian's car with Russ's cameraman Jared in the front, on the way to a petrol station in rural Tunisia, feeling woefully unprepared. Love you, Jared! <laughs> Bottle and a pinata. What's your world record? I had the most top goes in 10 seconds. How come you're doing the whole one now? You're just being pumped up by everyone here. Is the guy ready? These two, like a few other Tunisians there, were doing the run while fasting. Yeah, I wouldn't run a marathon without drinking water at least. <laughs> Over the previous days, I've formed a group of friends, without whom I wouldn't even be attempting the marathon, let alone finishing it. Do you want a hat? <laughs> Is this the guy who ran the whole Africa? Like, well, it was. Oh, it's in you. This is one of It's definitely him, man. One's in peace. Just telling my mum I'm running a marathon instead of a half marathon. Or <laughs> Blake, <laughs> Who's Blake? In the most recent video, it was like, do you think there'll be like 100 people at the finish? Like, there's 100 people just here, man. More than 100, eh? Yeah. yeah. I got a couple protein bars in my bag. You ready? You all good? Reckon you make it? Oh yeah. 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 Unless I die, then I guess I won't. <laughs> then we heard the distinctive choking rumble of a van on its last legs. It was nuts. Nelly had arrived. <laughs> and shortly after her came the man himself, there which brings is. us back up to this moment. Not bad, not bad. Everyone ready to run a marathon? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Then, just like that, we were off, running the opposite direction to what everyone had expected. And suddenly, I was at the front of the pack. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty shaked. A bit tired, but it's uh, a normal day. Right, push. Let's get done. I mean, you seem so calm and relaxed uh, with all the energy. Just make sure we're going the right way. Does anyone know? Well, when you've been running so long, you want to go the right way, don't you? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. We don't want to waste no problems out here at maximum efficiency. For everyone watching back home, just how tiring, how grueling has this been? Uh, it's quite hard to put into words. Um, 352 days on the road. A uh, long time ago, about seeing family and girlfriend. Body to her in a lot of pain, but... I don't want more doubt, I ain't got to play here as the news crew stepped away, so did the town, and we pelted out into the countryside at a much faster pace than expected. Kind of a decent pace for you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so I can keep this going for six hours, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> now that the journalists were gone, we all took opportunities to get to the very front and get a selfie with the man himself. He was very impressed with Ginger Hair. I stayed near the front for as long as I could, listening to Russ's conversations with everyone. Oh, Jesus, the video! <laughs> But I couldn't keep this up. I was currently running a marathon at my half marathon pace. The roads were very exposed. It was only 30 degrees Celsius, but with no shade and at a pace of 6 minutes a kilometre, the sweat situation was extreme. I was glad I had a camelback. Not everyone did. It was around this point, two and a half kilometres in, that I realised I hadn't started my Strava. Big regrets. Once it was on, I finally allowed myself to slip back to the pack away. I now found myself running with friends, celebs, and a guy with a suitcase. I later found out he was a sound guy for the band. Quickly, a community atmosphere formed. We were on a main road, so I had to keep yelling right when a car came up behind and wanted to pass. A few of these were a support van, Nelly, other YouTubers and personal support cars. Many were being used to this hits. Anyone got an iPhone call? Yeah, lightning. 
Yeah, 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 yeah,
So please keep your eyes open for each other. Keep talking to each other. Yeah. If you notice someone is doing bad, take care of them. Yeah. 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 Earlier at the start line, I met the guys from Friday Night Lights who'd be providing tunes. We've got the speakers here, so they're getting driven up to halfway. Now they weigh like six kilos, and I ran a half with it before, never a full. Now the music began. I've got the move again. Chief has killed me. This half was slower. Hey, hey. Take her easy up the hill. Aye. Long way to go, no rush. We'll make it. Now he's a smoky girl. Distance 22 kilometers. Time 2 hours 31 minutes 19 seconds. Previous kilometer in 7 minutes 32 seconds. This is very much turned into a walking marathon for me and a lot of people. I'm hoping when I pass the hill, I'll get the motivation back to start running. <laughs> we'll see. Just kind of want to make it. Don't want to stress myself too much. Distance: 23 kilometers. Crazy. The hills and the kilometers wore on. I walked and ran with my friend Ollie for a while. Then we reached this place, which I have no footage of. A shop, the only one on the whole route. I stopped and refreshed, and he went on ahead. Then I ran with George for a while. He insisted on running every step, even if it's at walking pace, which I found very <laughs> admirable, but very tiring. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I got into a pattern of letting him run ahead while I walked, and then I jogged to catch him up. We stopped for a rest in the welcome shelter of this unfinished mosque. Then, shortly after, I caught a second wind and left it behind. Nice stroll through the country. I have been running, actually, but I'm going to break some money on sand. It's a bit rude. By this time, unbeknownst to me, people had been waiting at the 10k to go point for about an hour and were already setting off. When I arrived, some YouTubers in the car told me what had happened, gave me some water, and I sped the next 5km. Here I ran some of my fastest splits. Strangers cheered me on as I passed. I overtook Pierce on the hill, his legs cramping like mad, and I filmed absolutely none of it. But I made it, and there I met my friend Fabio, who gave me some much needed water. Then Russ emerged, and we were off, across the road, directly into the trees. He loves going unexpected directions. The last few kilometers were hard, on sand and uneven ground. Trying to keep up to the last bike. We'll see. See the last. But I could feel the finish line approaching. And that gave me energy. Right, time to start running, I think. Distance 38 kilometers. Approaching the finish line, I believe. It's been a tough one. We're gonna make it. <laughs> to the beach. <laughs> That's the end point. We're running towards it now. <laughs> Amazing. I'd made it across the finish line just in time to film this. So that was it, marathon over. Time to reflect, drink a strawberry daiquiri, and then party.